Good morning, we're here looking at Eric Rudney's coffee tables slab providing two coffee tables. We've modified the cut line and it's illustrated in purple chalk. You can see the remnants of the initial cut line suggestion in yellow. So uh, the one thing that needs to be, I would like to just sort of bring up at this point is the fall away, which the fall away is really what we're looking at here. It's where the natural edge comes down and when we cut it uh, we introduce a fall away or keep it at 90 degrees. So if you look at this portion of the cut line and you look at the adjoining natural edge, the natural edge is sloping um, away from our from a 90 degree line right in here. So I suggest we keep the larger coffee table, the living room coffee table, keep that fall away going away from or less um, in this direction. I'm going to hold this stick up. So I think the fall away should carry on in this direction. With the cut, I don't think it needs to be a super aggressive angle, but I do think the angle needs to be there. As we come into this portion of the natural edge, you can see the fall away is, is away from the surface as we go along here. So it will look appropriate when we, um, when we introduce that fall away to this cut line. Now, having said that, the smaller coffee table, I believe we need to reverse that cut line, that fall away, and have the fall away increase as it goes down. So really, we cut this at this angle and we carry on carving a natural edge into both tables following that angle. So uh, as opposed to doing a second coffee table with a cut line at this angle. So um, if you can confirm that that's acceptable to you, again, I don't anticipate the fall away to be super aggressive but we do see it here on the second coffee table and so I that's why I want to carry it on across we don't have to but that's what I want that's what I'm suggesting and there you go if you guys are ready I'm ready and uh, thanks very much have a good Saturday talk to you guys soon